Hello channel, so looking at the title of today's video, you must be wondering what? What is going on here? Well, that's going to be explained in the video um, today. First off, of course, Winnie the Pooh is not really in the Star Wars universe. First of all, that's illegal. How would these two companies be able to reach such a deal? How would this be possible? Why would there be not so not as much covering of this ambitious crossover, we shall say. Well, that's because this is clickbait in a way, but I'll explain to you why it is like Winnie the Pooh is in the Star Wars universe. So, uh, sit back, relax, and prepare to learn a thing or two. So, enter, not quite Winnie the Pooh, but we are about to meet a bear of some sort. Of course, Lucasfilm... And, uh, Disney could not get Winnie the Pooh into Star Wars pre-2014. Technically, they might now, but that might be a crossover fans do not need. So, why was Winnie the Pooh in Star Wars? Well, it goes all the way back to the 1980s, actually. Where, um, interestingly enough, the year was 1989. And, uh... In 1989, the Bylar was created. Now, the Bylar is a bear. Um, very strange to look at. Like, you can see the wrinkles on it now. It looks like Winnie the Pooh. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about of it. Um, it was kind of a non-sentient animal then, like a semi-sentient being. And then, depending on the size of the group, I'll explain all of that later, they could be considered sentient. So let me break this down for you. Bylars were one of a few examples of a true group mind in the galaxy. Evolved from small vegetarian primates on the technologically active but highly fertile planet Merma 2. Now, no, Mima 2. And now Mima 2 was found in the, the Aelgoth sector of the galaxy in the Lar system. So in the Lar system was Mima 2 which was in the Dalegoth sector in the western reaches of the Midrin. So that's where the Bylar happened to be from. Now, uh, they had originally evolved from vegetarian primates, as I just said, and uh, they, an individual Bylar was unintelligent, but the species had the ability to pull the knowledge and consciousness off a group of Bylars, shared a special bond with each other, and these bonds were called clacas, C-L-A-Q-A-S, so I assume clacas. Thus, a pair of bylars collectively was an intelligent as a trained domestic animal, but a group of four achieved true sentience. What? You may be thinking. Yes, Winnie the Pooh's hive mind in Star Wars. So, some of it, the title is not clickbait. Please believe me. So, um, reactions to the Bylar appearance range from one extreme to another. To some non-Bylars, the species was the epitome of adorability resembling children's stuffed toys. So yes, we have now been told that teddy bears exist in the Star Wars universe. Now, uh, the Bylars groups were really strange, uh, they would all, like, talk together. The Bylars inhabited the jungles of Merma II, a planet teeming with plant and animal life. Although each Klaka operated as a single consciousness with a single identity, the plural nature of the Bylar group mind ensured that each Klaka manifested a unique temperament. In fact, the same Klaka might change its mood erratically or capriciously, confusing any non-Bylars interacting with it. Nevertheless, a few behaviors appeared among even individual Bylars. There's a lot about reproduction that you can read about for the Bylars. I'm going to skip that. I get my information from Wikipedia and also from the Galaxy Guide that I have open on my lap. A combination of this tells me information I need and helps me along with my notes. So that's, I guess, a behind-the-scenes information thing there. Kind of. Okay, moving on. Um, the Bylars evolved on Mima 2 from unintelligent primates. I've said that already. 
However, Bylar's in the galaxy. Few Bylar clock has ventured into the get greater galaxy from Mima 2. This is particular due to the lack of opportunity to leave. The species lacked indi indigenous spacefaring technology. The traffic to their world was minimal. However, it was a result of the relative poverty of the Bylar's by galactic standards, although the average clock has all its needs met with little expenditure of energy. Bylar's had little of value which, which to barter trade off Mima 2. Now, they were created by, get this, Troy Denning. That's right, my favorite Star Wars author, author of Star by Star, Tatooine Goes, uh, Legacy of the Force Series, Fate of the Jedi, Crucible, etc., etc. He wrote these species into the Star Wars galaxy. Was he on drugs? Was he high? Was he crazy? I'm not sure. I just embrace the weird here. Now, there are only two images of the Bylar, which you've probably seen alternating for my last rant for a while. And, uh, yeah, um, I'd say that it's interesting, the Bylars. Now, there are two fan images as well, which will pop up. One of this crazy little beast of a Bylar with this Ithorian crime lord looking like a boss you'll zoom in there and see that um crazy 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 also interestingly uh the other art is of like four bylar mechanics very interesting i like it i like it i like it um it's weird winnie the pooh formed a hive mind to achieve galactic species sentience in the star wars galaxy by forming clackas of four or more individuals yeah, I'll let that sit with your mind for just a little while. Just let it fester in your mind. Take that in. A shame that we did not see much more of the Bylar. Now, we did get to see them um, in uh, the Complete Encyclopedia. And X-Wing Solo Command features Bylar characters. So, good old, good old Aaron Alston snuck a Bylar in his book. Otherwise, we would probably not have seen much more. So, yes, Bylars appeared first in the Aliens of the Galaxy uh, guide. But then later, managed to sneak their way into other West End Games material. And, uh, of course, X-Wing uh solo command um this then there was an unidentified bylar who was killed by a carestian bounty hunter in um a source book by the name of milicus and then also the uni yarudi were the uh bylar who w were uh making an appearance in the uh, uh x-wing books at least that's what i assume they're not officially listed as such, but I assume that they would probably have been the same Klaka who made it into Aaron Alston's book. Um, so, there you have it, Bylars. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you think this video was clickbait, tell me down below. I think that, yes, you could consider that Winnie the Pooh was in the Star Wars. I think you can consider that. Obviously not the real Winnie the Pooh. Again, copyright violation, all that juicy stuff. But I think it's pretty close to Winnie the Pooh. I wonder if Troy Denning just thought, huh, looking at his children's show and thought, huh, I could use that. Maybe he stepped outside, got stepped on an anthill, got bitten, thought of hive minds. I don't know. Was he high? I'm not sure. I embrace the weird that is the Bylar, and you should too. I mean, enjoy it. Enjoy the Bylar. We're allowed to have fun in our fictional galaxy.